and today we're going to be doing a demonstration on how to bank or corner the turns at high speed uh, like the professional racers you see on TV. That way you don't overshoot, okay? And uh, I know the camera shots uh, close because it's kind of hard to see my diagram. Uh, so I apologize about that, but I want you to be able to see the most important part here, okay? So what we're gonna be covering today is counter steering and getting your lines right, okay? The lines are so important and the lines, getting your lines right, if you watch MotoGP, they'll say he's off his line. Okay, what that means is the route that he takes on the road, okay? So, for instance, where you start equals where you end up, okay? So, getting, the, getting your line right is if you're on the road here and you're banking to the left, you see? It's turning to your left, okay? So, what you wanna do is you wanna start your bike over on the far side, like this. And then, as you come up, you wanna come across the apex here and up to the other side, back to the outside again. And I apologize, I'm not the greatest artist in the world, but you know, you get the idea, right? That you wanna start on the outside here, and then you wanna bank, and then the center area here is what they call the apex, where the highest point of the turn is the center of the apex, okay? So you wanna start high, come down low, to the center line here, and then come out high, okay? Because if you start on the inside, the center of the road, on your turn, it's gonna send you out here in the ditch and overshoot, okay? So, that's the line that you wanna take, okay? And then if you're turning the opposite direction, like down here, okay? and you're, you're banking to the right, you wanna start on the inside, the center of the road, and come down to the side of the road, and then back out to the middle, okay? So, if you're turning left, you wanna be on the outside here, and then bank to the center line, apex, and then come out to the high side again. If you're banking to the right, you wanna start in the center of the road on the dotted line. The apex now will be on the, the outside corner out here, out, out to the side of the road. So you'll come down and you'll hit that, and then you'll come out back into the center of the road again, okay? So those are things that you don't have to do at high speed, okay? Those are things that can be done even at low speed. And even me, you should practice every time you're riding your motorcycle and you get into a corner like this, even if you're going slow, stay on those lines. Practice your lines, even going slow. It doesn't matter slow or fast. You know, constantly practice that so that way it becomes automatic in your mind. Because when you do it at higher speeds, it needs to be automatic. You don't need to be thinking about it. You just need to be automatically knowing where you automatically need to go. So it becomes automatic memory, muscle memory, when you do it constantly every day. So every time you get to a corner, make sure you are doing the right lines, okay? So that way when you pick up your speed, your lines are correct, okay? Now over here, and again, my, my poor drawings, but if you can see, these two images here are the tires, okay? These are your front tires. So, this is what's called counter steering. This is the trick that I didn't even know for the longest time, and I kept fighting the bike, fighting the bike, trying to corner, trying to corner, couldn't do it until one of my friends explained counter steering to me, okay? 
This is the number one secret why the professionals can lean the bike all the way down and make a sharp, sharp turn, okay? So if you're banking here to the right, okay, your front tire here, you need to turn by sit long to the left, you see? So if you're turning to the right, you wanna turn the handlebars a little bit the opposite direction and then lay the bike down, okay? If you're cornering to the left, then your front tire, you need to turn a little bit to the right, okay? So that's why it's counter steering. It's the opposite direction. If you try to turn into the turn at high speeds, the front tire and the back tire are gonna work against each other and that's what's gonna force the bike to sit up and push you to overshoot and end up in the ditch. Okay, so counter steer, that's how you can make a sharper turn. Okay, and I'll try to draw another diagram here. Let's say this is your tire here, okay? When you normally drive on a straight line everything, you're gonna use of course, the outside of the tire, the very edge of the tire, the top part, okay? But when you counter steer and you bank into the turns, the reason it's a sharper turn and you can do it because you're actually gonna be using this part of the tire on the inside here. And as you can see, this is a smaller circle than the outside. So it's gonna be a tighter turn because your radius on the tire you're using is smaller. So it's gonna be much tighter. You don't wanna be using this outside. You wanna be using the inside edge of the tire, okay? That's how you're able to be able to counter steer. So again, make sure that your lines are right. You're going, if on the left banking turns, you're on the far edge of the road at the edge and you come to the apex, center of the road, and then out to the outside. If you're banking to the right, you wanna start on the inside, in the middle of the road, okay? So on the center line is where you wanna start, then come down to the edge of the road where the apex is at, and then back to the center, okay? So please, please, please try these. Um, and you know, these are what like I said all the professionals use and the rest of us use in order to effectively bank the turns or you know speed through the, the turns and be able to, to get in nice and tight so you don't overshoot. Okay? Again, thanks everyone so much for watching my channel and I hope this helps you and everyone ride safe. Alright, maraming maraming salamat po for watching. Don't forget. Click and subscribe on my subscribe channel, leave me any comments, hit the like button, and I'll talk to you later.